All right, hey guys, we're uh, trying something new here. We're gonna do a video update. Uh, I thought what I'd do is uh, take you to the spot where uh, I went to with a bunch of teenagers from the track team last spring. So it was around this time, and uh, the track athletes, one of them started to do some slack lining. And slack lining is walking across a tightrope uh, across a distance, and he's like, I wish I could do it over water, because then there'd be a consequence. And I was like, well, I totally know where we can go. So I often take uh, teenagers to this pond here behind me. So what I did is I attached the slack line to this post here, which you can see, and to that tree over there. So there was quite a bit, quite a bit of distance that they had to cover. And uh, sure enough, we set it up. And they all did it. And then they told me, well, Matt, now you have to do it. And this is the outcome of what happened there. But anyway, so thinking back on this past year, and then COVID hits, and uh, the things that we often did as Young Life leaders with teenagers weren't really allowed anymore. So this spring has been a bit challenging, um, but it's been fun working with our leader team on figuring out ways where we can adapt our ministry so that we can still be engaging with kids. And, uh, and that's been kind of fun. So right away, what we did is we decided, you know what, we're gonna do things online, because it's really what we can do in the beginning. So we started doing Zoom clubs, Zoom hangouts. We even did a, a YouTube live where thousands of people got to see club live in action, which was kind of sweet. And, uh, and then what we were like deciding is, well, we gotta somehow get face to face with them at a distance, of course. So. Uh, some of the leaders decided that we were going to start doing care packages. So we did care packages where we would drop off uh, packages as leader teams all at once and we'd film it on Zoom. And we have a video of that which uh, you can see in this, in this update as well. So we had, uh, we had a blast actually, trying to figure out what we could do with, with the kids. Another really cool thing that happened was, is the leader team and I decided that we've doubled down on discipleship. So what we did is we started campaigners and we continued to do campaigners on Zoom. And uh, we've all been going through this book actually called um, Longing to Experience More of Jesus. And it's a weekly thing, we do a reading. And uh, what's been really awesome is the leaders uh, have decided that they wanted to do commitments every week. And you'd write them down. And the teenagers would also have commitments and we'd work on them together throughout the week and then we'd follow up and have accountability. So that was, uh, that was uh, another really cool thing that happened during COVID. Another awesome thing that happened in COVID is we built a wildlife team uh, to go after middle school kids. And uh, we just started doing it online with the connections that we had and the, and the group still slowly started building. And then as restrictions lifted, we started getting together with those teens and uh, getting to know them more. So that's been, uh, that's been a lot of fun. We also did a, an online day camp for teens with special needs. And that was across the whole country. And in Abbotsford, we had two teenagers join in on that. And I got to help lead on that day, which was such a blessing and so fun to hang out with uh, Joel and Francis. So in amongst all of this uh, crazy COVID time, uh, we could have just given up. And, uh, and just kind of wait around. And uh, I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad that we got creative. I'm glad that we were deciding that we were gonna pursue relationship with teenagers anyways. And then we got the terrible news that Rockridge wasn't gonna happen. And that was especially sad because all of us have been going to camp every summer for as long as like 10 years, some of us. And, uh, and teenagers look forward to it so much. We took 84 kids to camp last summer and they were really excited to go. We had a whole bunch signed up already and now we can't go to camp with them. So we decided, you know what, we're gonna do adventure camps anyways. So it's a real challenge, but we decided, you know what, we are still gonna give them incredible days. Let's go all out. Like let's have the most incredible summer we can with these guys. So we decided let's shoot big and let's see what happens. And all at a physical distance obviously and with sanitation practices in place. But uh, it's gonna be it's gonna
going to be a lot of fun. So, Adventure Days are happening in July for Senior High. Uh, the following week, we're doing um, we're doing three day camps for wildlife. Our Snow Life team, who has been doing ministry on the ski hill all winter, is actually doing a camp as well. And it's going to be busy, <laughs> but it's going to be fun because uh, we can't go a summer without um, having an adventure with kids and getting to tell them the greatest news ever about what Jesus did for them and how they can have a, a loving relationship with Jesus. So thanks for listening to the update. Thank you for participating with us, for supporting us, for praying for us, for uh, being behind us. Um, we are trying to figure out how to do this ministry best in the conditions that we're in. And uh, I think it's going to be great. So uh, stay tuned. Follow us on uh, YL Abbey Instagram, YL Chilliwack Instagram, and YL Mission Instagram. And you'll get to see all of the fun things that we're doing this summer with kids. So this is Matt, Area Director for East Fraser. Much love. God bless you and thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye.